Hello, hello. I'm Asher Ninja and this is Torox. Now over the end turn, yes, we did lose our uh, herdstone, as expected. And that's fine. Oh, it's like he is. Mm, that's a very good one to have. Next one we're going to go for is the Corfu in ambushing. But, so despite losing that, Carl Franz himself made a nice little Do not strategic take me mistake for a fool. and got himself all the way down here. By Sigma, no. Where we can really, really hurt him a lot. Since we've got a point to go for that. So, the idea is to ambush Sig uh, Sigma. Emperor Karl Franz Absolutely with uh, Torox's army who sure, has plague for another two turns and may spread it. And we're going to move Morgur and Kazrak out of the way as well so that they don't really catch it. Don't want to be sneezed on by a giant bull basically. Uh, don't actually, I actually very much want to get an ambush in just because I like that. I want to ambush him. There we go, that's better. Lovely. So let's fight this manually. I believe this is his starter army, possibly, because it starts with Drake's guard. It might actually be his starter army. Now he is on death claw. So he could be dangerous. But, you know, I'm Torox. I'm going to be more dangerous because I've decided. So Minotaurs are going to go into the back line. Uh, Torox himself will go after Carl. Um, we will put our Ungors in a line in front of our Ungor Raiders. So they can do their shooting business. What I can do is do them like this here. Yeah. Put them in there like this. And a little bit like this. Try and get as much in range as possible. These guys come in to stop charges. So Orox goes here. My heroes go there. Mini tours go here. And actually, let's change there so they're actually aiming more for the shooters. Now that I've done that, let's reposition you. you are. You three will reposition you. Yeah, there we go. That's probably a better formation. Uh, got a unit of Ungors overlapping here though. Oh, no good. We'll just do that. Alright, you lot, start the battle now, and we're going to go mortars, these guys all into here, and have all you guys shooting, that's good. Right, you're going to come for him? That's excellent, that is perfect. You guys are going to go in for the middle, mostly, you head off that direction, you can head off this direction. Put down, no, put down this just here. Ah, oh, I really screwed that up. Oh, that's all right. Get in there. Get in there. Charge through into those handgunners, please. Torox and him, they're going at it. Oof, they've got their uh, handgunners going. How are you doing, Torox? You've got to destroy him. Prove your worth. Don't let him get away. He's, uh, he's going to run. He's going to try and fly. He's going to. He's going to. Gonna get up now. Okay. Oh, 
He is badly surrounded there. That's not good. Let's do a Torox explosion. Need more. Yeah, see, I've got him into a bad situation there. Right, you guys, come and help with this bad situation over here. You up, help that situation over there. You guys are going to need to try and deal with that situation over there that I've created. Torox, go for Carl again, please. To do too much damage now. Oops, gonna need you. Go in for that charge over there, please. Uh, he, he is getting absolutely wrecked. He is my own fault. Get that through there. That should help things out a bit. You need to get out of there. Destroy all the arches. Good. And Carl is down. Good work there. Lovely. Yeah, he really took a fair bit of damage that wall door. I don't know why he's on half health. That's good. Went relatively well. Could have gone better. Let's get you just harvesting some stuff with your sides. Bit of harvesting for the bulls. We have those great swords actually, uh, they're probably a better target. Take out great swords, yeah, that's good. Less great swords that make it through, the better. They're not the best of troops, but you know, they can sort of do a bit of damage. Hundred and four losses. Yeah, rake scar did a bit. Hand gunners. Yeah, it was one of the units of hand gunners. I kind of let them let loose a little bit. But yes, he got the most on his uh, on his wagon. That's all right. It's all good. And of course, the Minotaurs more than carried their weight, as always. When the army's kind of half Minotaurs, half Gorbals, it's just ridiculous the amount of damage it all does. Now, Hill's in Force March, so he's wiped out. So, goodbye, Carl. We will take the replenishment. <laughs> Carl Franz is down. Oh. Azrax army receives the plague. Let's get these guys moving off this in this direction. We're gonna do a schluggle schlutch that place. Gonna take that one over there. So he's only got two turns left. He's got what probably three turns. Figure in battle time. Um, 
Building wise, I know. I'm pretty well That's out of that nice. when it comes to money. Now, he doesn't really need to go up a level now because he's got that, so we can leave his at that level. He doesn't really need to either because we want to get him the best to grow herds. Mm -hmm. Him, on the other hand, we want to fill his army up with Jabba Spice. So, we're going to spend all of our money on that. Oh, Nurgle's Faust Inc. We're going to take that and put it into Torax's army for now. Because that will go into Malakor's army. Because I like to organise it that way. Well, it might. It might. Maybe not straight away. But he is one of the ones I like to take. Uh, now, level 25, let's give him some Shadow Hide just to increase his missile resistance. Uh, this one, we've got him all called to Morse Lead, so we're going to go across this one now. Deadly Blade for that one. Finish off the Nundable Pendulum for him. I'm going to take Feral Fervor for our friend Mr. Um, Kazrak because it's actually really good, especially when we get filled up with that Stalker and less bigger, less etc. And that looks like that's it there. Color Global is always welcome. Will mean less troops to do shooting, and that's fine. I uh, could get rid of an Ungor herd. No Ungor herd. We'll see. Um, didn't check the, the thing. I'm pretty sure I did go to war with everyone, though. I went to war with everyone over there, at least. That'll make um, them happy. That's good. Successfully defeated car friends. Yep, they'll take... Oh, they've, they've given, given souls and mine back. That's cool. And apparently we're going to get to have ourselves another battle. Let's do it. Yeah, let's manually fight this one. I think what I want to do this time, uh, just so those knights don't really run too much of too much amok, is going to try and get the, the minotaurs into them. Uh, we might send one of the of Ungors into the artillery. So what I'm going to do is the three Minotaurs. I'm going to head for the Empire Knights. And you're right. Going to play Archer. Can go there. What we'll do is going to send him into the artillery. Three main Minotaur boys. Uh, I'm going to send them into their ranged. Yeah, I think that's, this is probably the best way to do it. So let's get you got going in. You go in there. You go for the crossbowmen. You go for the Lord, please. You go for a Penumbral Pendulum across there. And they sort of barely caught some of them there. Go for it, Torox. Mowing him down, that's good. Yeah, this is why I wanted the Minotaurs to go into the into the Empire Knights, because they do absolutely destroy the Empire Knights. Pull you backwards and turn you around. That includes you. You are. Go after that. Oh, who are you fighting? Oh, there. Nothing went bad with it. Very 
gonna be twice a heat. We're gonna get an honorable pendulum going again. It looks like these guys are mostly going now. Go, there, they got shattered there. Go after him, please. Let's see if we can catch him. Yes, that's good, good, good. Perfect. There we go. Let's see if we can get them to catch uh, the halberd ears here. The less halberd ears, the better. Can't remember if they were in force much. They might have been. But still, you know. Good to smash up some more stuff. Uh, small amount of losses, but yeah, we handled the, the knights a lot better this time. As always, they've done a good job. They're hardcore. Wrecking everything. Yeah, their spearmen and that basically did a bit of a number on a couple of our uh, Ungor units and nothing else was overly damaged. So that went well. Uh, what do we have? 7%? Yeah, I reckon that's worth it. We'll take 7%. Yeah. Yeah, that was an was not an ambush he d he enjoyed. So, despite a couple of armies being destroyed, the empire still has quite a decent balance of power. Lots of guys wanting peace with us. That's not too surprising, though. Nordland barely existing. You're going to want peace as well. They also don't get that. Neither do you. No peace. Only Torox coming to break your necks with his giant boobs. Well, one of the rampage has now been achieved. That's good. Raise something. Let's get rid of one of these Ungor herds so that we can pop him in. Yeah. By the comet. Ten. Yeah, they're at full health. Let's go for uh, making this our little home away from home. Uh, leadership wise, they can have the leadership banner. We'll get Kazarak over here to assist. Because what we want to do is... Oh no, we'll be able to build a herdstone there as well, but I don't think that's actually a good idea. Hmm. What if I turn this the into a herdstone? No, so either way, they're not in each other's blood grounds. That sucks. Oh well, we'll just smash away this. So goodbye. We'll raise the herd so in there. He's also got the plague now. That's fine. Hang in there. You go into that stance. Got two turns of plague left. You've got three now. We're all very tired, apparently. 
do with you let's have a quick look here nothing good recruit say goodbye now i'm not actually going to um, raise earthstone here all i'm gonna do is destroy it and we're just gonna straight up look crazy. unnecessary but Again, and we will pop him back into hiding. He's going to make his way over to rendezvous with the rest of the forces. I'll ignore that. So, just literally causing chaos. Cease your braying. Uh -huh. What could you possibly offer Found the Azrae? Hadn't gone to war with you yet, so fix that. Oh, we're here. Quick check. Quick war check. Good. That's the only one. So we'll start off with Torox again. Gave him Shadow Hearts, giving him ga Gouge Tusks for the extra bit of armor piercing. It's doing alright for armor piercing. 446. Uh, unnatural Thirst. No, you're not quite up to that yet. Oh, hide first. We go across here. So he's doing pretty well. These guys get pretty good against resistance. Uh, speaking of, this guy needs some more of that. He gets Foe Seeker and calls the Morslead. That and Pit of Shades, which is really good for when they clump up. Enemies clump up. The, our Nurgle South Stink Boy gets Blade Master. Over this way, Morga gets Slug Skin to give all of his armies some sort of resistance. Which is, is really good when you've got like a lot of these guys and stuff in there. Mm, he's sort of resistant, delicious. Uh, Morga, he needs. Still needs more cash for that. A good idea for that just to get them more dread every turn. Done with that. Quickly check these guys. No. Oh, that's right. And we had a cheeky harsh rampage, which what we should do is take. Right, let's give his army a ward save. Good. Now all we need is to get this up to the point where we can do Stop stuff. Right off. That's interesting. You're not right in yet. Uh, that's cool. That's going to be our, probably our next target here. He's only got one more turn of that. That's good. I don't know if Boris will actually change directions, but we should be okay destroying that army, even Stop with Thorox's weakened one. If we get an ambush, that is. See how that goes. But that's not going to happen until the next episode. So that is going to be it for this episode. I've been Ash Ninja. This has been Torox the Brass Bull. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.